Fourteen years ago, a very special group of chimpanzees were living in a biomedical laboratory in New York State when they were rescued by a woman named Gloria Grow. They were driven six hours north, over the Canadian border, to a place called the Fauna Sanctuary. In the lab, they'd been torn from their mothers just days after birth. They'd been held captive in tiny cages for decades and put through invasive surgeries and injected with lethal human viruses like HIV and hepatitis. But at the Fauna Sanctuary, Gloria did everything she could to give these chimpanzees the kind of retirement they deserved. And slowly, over time, the chimps began to heal. And what's even more amazing is, they started to trust humans again. So two summers ago, Gloria invited me to move in with her chimpanzee family and write their biography. I got to meet Tom and Pepper and Rachel. I got to meet Sue Ellen, who was raised in the circus before being abandoned in the lab and who now makes the most beautiful sleeping nests. I met Binky, who had three whole months with his mother before he was taken and who now loves to play practical jokes. And I met Chance, who was raised in complete isolation for the first five years of her life and who now loves to pick the hot peppers off her pizza. When I moved into Fauna, I thought I was there to just write a book. I didn't realize how much I would come to care for the chimpanzees or how much they would affect me. I started dreaming about them every night and those dreams continue today. So I guess my hope is that when people hear the stories of the Chimps of Fauna Sanctuary, they'll be moved to act. They'll write their lawmakers and ask them to support the Great Ape Protection Act, or they'll donate to a sanctuary like Fauna, or they'll just tell their friends and family about Tom, about Pepper, about Rachel, and about Binky, so that one day this kind of invasive research on chimpanzees might come to an end.